So, <coughs> good evening. So I'm here in the young board loft, or the young board section. And I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen youngsters here. I won segregated as well as a bit. If you don't know what was going on, I'm mean, gonna just separate them. But um just to show you real quick the feed again. So here's the same field. So this is the feed the young boards are on and the hour boards, the race boards, uh, as you can see there. So it's a bean mix, 25% barley, 25% beans, or sorry, 50% beans, and 25% breed and win. Okay, breed and win, love the breed and win, I have to say. And then to that, if I put oil on it, whatever oil you have, garlic oil, honey oil, garlic and honey, uh, I use wheat germ oil, whatever ones there, dry it up with vitamin R, and then I put harm or farm into it. Um, <clears throat> so just to talk through these for some of these, these, uh, these ones up the top here are all very early. Uh, these three specifically, and this one, the fourth one, these are all January hatched, uh, end of January hatched, and the rest would be mid-February hatched, okay? And I have them on the light system, so we have light in here, from 4 a.m. Lights go off at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, I think it's 7 in the morning, and then they come back on at 8 in the evening at the moment because it's bright, and they're on now till 11. So I have them on the light system. So just to show you, so again, we, we have the darkness system to stop the wing molt. Now this is the first time I've done this, by the way, on the recommendation of somebody else. These boards are for racing in August for one race only, Gornsey with the BICC. So it remains to be seen due to restrictions whether we go ahead with that. But they're going through a nice normal body mold. Not like the darkness ones that they just throw everything in one go. But what I want to show you is, this is a January hatched pigeon. And he's already one, two, three, four, on his fifth flight growing up there. As you can see that. Now this pigeon will be well through his mold probably by July. It will be finished, June will be finished as moat. Okay, that's what I'm hoping anyway. And he will be, they'll be ready for racing, they'll have a full wing again. So this again is a, a January hatched pigeon. And this is a double grandchild, a Musgrove wizard, a nice pigeon, have to say, very, very happy with it. Now, <clears throat> this one, I think there's about four days in the difference of these young boards, but again, just to show you the wing there, this one's on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So this one's on our fourth flight. Um, Nestmates are there, fourth flight. So there's a week in the difference between those boards, five days, four or five days, between the first and second board. Uh, this is the Nestmate of this one here. It's the Nestmate. So just to have a look at where this one is. So again, the Nestmate is on his fifth flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, fifth one growing up there. Yep. Fifth one's in the bottom there, see there, just piping through. So on our fifth flight as well. So again, this one would be another one that we finished a moat for the race in August if it goes ahead. <coughs> um, and these are a bit, this is a bit later. This one's end of February, uh, mid-February hatch. And let's see where we are with this one. This one's just, so this is now uh, about mid-February, March, April. So about two months old, a little over two months old. And 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Has dropped its first flight. You can just see it. Uh, maybe you can see it. I can see it. Maybe you can see it there. Just piping up there. Just barely see it there. Just can catch it. So this one is, 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 is one of them. This again should be through the through the mouth completely by the time racing comes around. Another one. This this one's a bit older than that one, so I'd expect the wing a bit further on. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now just drop the first one. The you know, first one looks like it's broker coming through there. Not sure. Again, this is out of Musgrove Wizard. Yeah, this is a, a daughter of Musgrove Wizard. Lovely little hen, I have to say. I really like this hen. Nice little hen, nice and neat. Um, good back on her. As we say, good back, isn't it? A good back. Uh, there's another one again. Another out of Musgrove Wizard, direct. Uh, let's see, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, again, force flight out, yep, yeah. force flight coming up now, so these boards are end of, uh, mid-February, uh, hatched, uh, 
and they're coming through now at the moment. They're starting to molt. So mid February to end of March to mid April. So they're two months old. These boards roughly, and uh, the molt is coming through. Um, what can I say about them? I absolutely, I'm, I'm delighted with these boards. These are all our Musgrove wizard. Out of the fifteen, there is one. Two, three, I think that aren't there with them. Uh, two double grandchildren, sorry, one, two double grandchildren. And uh, there's one more there that's the same way bred as the poet. Uh, another, now this one's just still squealing a little bit. Still squealing a bit. Uh, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. But dropped, has the first flight growing up there and has already dropped their second uh, pipe and through another. Another granddaughter, another direct daughter, Musgrove. You can see how she's molting here. The molt is going as normal. I'm not getting a load of big drop like you do on the darkness system. And again, I've never done this before. So I'm really, really interested to see how it goes. This is a big fella. This is another son of Musgrove Wizard. He's a bigger fella. His dam is a daughter of three times Barcelona. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this guy is piping his sec second flight as well. Uh, a a cracking light, cracking young board. Uh, I call this fella Tears because of his eye, because of the white on his eyes. If you just have a look, is he going on that side? No, he just has that on this side. So I call him Tears. A, a lovely pigeon. Oh, easy, easy. Lovely pigeon. I incidentally put uh, same way bed bred pigeons as this cock into. The Wild Atlantic Way one loft race. Like, look at the back on that. Like, look, yeah. at, look at how that tail just sits. Fabulous, fabulous pigeon. Very big cock. I'm surprised at how big he is, considering the, the rest of the boards are kind of smallish, you know? Um, yeah, I, you know, you have your personal favourites as you look at them. Um, again, this is another one, another one. Look, second, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Force fly coming through there as you can see again two months old dropped the first flights three months old uh, three to four months old up on their fifth flights so hopefully by time august comes around these boards will all be finished their wing molts finished their body molts they look like lovely mature boards and uh, we'll see how they do in the grungy race another one now a musgrove wizard like i said most of these here are from him um, and I won't be really keeping anything else bar boards off Musgrove Wizard um, in the loft handful of other ones but, but, but pretty much that's it um, so very very happy with them and even considering <coughs> they're not doing any work is one of the reasons I have them on the feed I have them on the beans are perfect they're, they're full of protein for young growth the breed and wean is just to give them a mix of something extra in it and the barley is just to control their diet, really. They get as much as they want. That food that's in the trough is there about a half. I'm going to remove that now. Um, and they won't see it now till tomorrow week. But they might get some in the morning when I'm here. I'm actually conditioning these to come to the call at the moment. So when I wean boards, I just put them in. I leave them at it. I let them get strong like these are now. And then I condition them to the, 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 the whistle, the shake of the can. Uh, so they only get fed when I'm here now and I'm shaking the can and whistling at them, talking to them, so that when they're out, when I call them and they're hungry, they just come in, and there's no issues. Incidentally, I have a pair of boards in here, so this is the hen, and this is the, where's the cock gone? This is the cock here. Uh, these are out of the Marco Wilson pigeons, uh, 844 miles Barcelona. They're both inbred. Uh, one's have a father-daughter mate, and the other's have a mother-son mating. Uh, both the father and the mother in the mother's in the relative matings have flown Barcelona at 844 miles and they've also the, 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 the sons they were paired to the son and daughter they were paired to were also out of boards that were paired, flew Barcelona so the father daughter mating the mother the daughter was out of hand that flew Barcelona and the mother son mating was the same way so <clears throat> I'm happy with the way these boards are coming on the droppings are all good um, the field is fine. I can't really complain in all honesty. So I'm just enjoying getting these boards out, keeping an eye on them. Uh, I'm running the bull system at the moment. They're laying eggs at the moment. Uh, with the eight hens, I have three of them I think have laid already. So it's going according to plan. Fingers crossed they're fair as well. Um, so yeah, so that's where we are. That's this, this is the young boards at the moment. Not a lot going on. Like I said, the boards are getting out and exercising well. That's all I can ask for.
Okay, have a good evening.